Some health experts fear lifting restrictions too soon could result in a surge in new cases, warning that without expanding testing, people will not be safe. Dr. Mark Siegel is a professor of medicine at NYU Langone Medical Center and a Fox News contributor. Doctor, good morning to you. So you heard the president's plan. Hi, they Sandra. have laid it out. And Nancy Pelosi is criticizing it as being too vague. Is it the right plan, obviously considering the fears out there, that this could be too soon? First of all, I don't think it's vague. I think it's actually very specific in terms of gating and the phases that you would have. Two weeks of gating where you're not seeing an increase in cases or actual decline in cases. Then phase one where you reopen gyms and, and stadiums and restaurants. Then phase two, where you open up more things like bars and you have more out, outdoor things like parks opening. That's pretty specific. I have some other concerns, though, Sandra. Number one, and I'm not the only one to say this, we need massive testing to ensure that we're not seeing the resurgence that Dr. Fauci is talking about. How are you going to know? You don't want to be in the situation we've been in the last few weeks where we only find out how many cases there are indirectly by how many hospitalizations we get with our facilities being overwhelmed. We need the kind of point of care testing where we can say you're sick, you have it, not you're very sick before we can test you. You're sick, you have it. We can do point of care testing with things like the Abbott platform and serologies, antibody tests, so we can go through a community. And, and CDC Director Redfield told me this week that they're doing these kind of surveillances in 10 different states already. But I wanted across the United States where we can say this is a community. People here had it, have it already. They had it. They're already over it. They can go back to work or they never had it. We need to know which communities are at risk and which communities are getting over this. We need the testing to be able to do that. And then in terms of the phases themselves, I would point out uh -huh. that, there, that there's some downsides to some of these issues because there's always the risk if you're in a sporting arena that people are going to get too close while they're sharing, while they're going to order a hot dog or a beer. So it's very hard to, to keep social distancing in place in some of these places, including restaurants. Very interesting. Nancy Pelosi, in her own words, said this after the, the president announced his plans last night. The White House's vague and inconsistent document does nothing to make up for the president's failure to listen to the scientists and produce and distribute national rapid testing. Even though the Surgeon General um, went on Fox and Friends this morning, Dr. Siegel, defending these decisions, saying that they are going over the numbers every hour of every day. Here's the Surgeon General. This virus has humbled me, it's humbled the task force, it's humbled the entire country. I can promise you and the American people is that the task force is going over the most recent data for hours a day, every single day, and having the humility to say, look, we thought it was A, now we find out that it's B, so let's change our recommendations to the American people so they can be as safe as possible. All right. So there he was assuring the American people that they are taking the right steps to reopen the economy, but at the same time, keep everyone safe. Final thoughts, Dr. Siegel, on this, the promise of this new drug, statnews.com headline. It's moving markets this morning. It did overnight. Early peak at, da at data on Gilead coronavirus drugs suggest patients are responding to treatment. So there are reports that they are using this drug on coronavirus patients at a hospital in Chicago and having a lot of success with this. What can you tell us about this? And is this a game changer? Well, I think it's a potential game changer. I interviewed Dr. Khalil, who's in charge of all these clinical trials out at the University of Nebraska back in February. He was optimistic. But Sandra, STAT or some other news organization getting a video of some doctor saying it's working on, on the wards at University of Chicago is hardly science. We need the clinical trials. We don't have the results yet. It may be promising, but Sandra, we don't even know when to use this drug. It, my prediction is, by the way, that it'll be useful, but it has to be used early in the game before all the inflammatory effects we're seeing and all the blood clotting we're seeing. By the time you're an extremist in the ICU, it's probably too late for this drug. But that's the kind of thing that the mm -hmm. clinical trials will tell us. We don't have enough information mm -hmm. yet to be giving it a ringing endorsement. Mm -hmm. We've got to wait for the science on this. All right, Dr. Siegel, you've been taking us through this. We appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you, Sandra.